this uh, uh, class, we're going to look at how to draw uh, schematic diagrams for uh, simple circuits. So in the first question, we're asked to draw a circuit with a two-cell battery, two lamps, and a switch, all connected in series. And what we show here is, first of all, the cells are depicted by a large line and a small line. That's a battery. And there's two cells there, because you see two series of those. And if each one of the cells has three volts in it, then the whole battery, because it has two cells, will have a total of six volts. The electrons will come out of the negative side, and the negative side, because it attracts cations, is called a cathode. And, and so the negative side of the battery is called a cathode. The electrons will flow out of it, they'll go through this lamp. The lamp is always depicted with the filament inside of it. And there's two lamps here. And then after the lamp, there's a switch. So the switch is open right now because um, no, no current will flow. If you close the switch, then we have a complete circuit and the current will flow. Whenever electrons flow through a circuit, they go from the negative side of the battery through the circuit back into the positive side of the battery. And uh, if, there, if the circuit is broken at, at any point, if it's not continuous, then the circuit is, is open and nothing, no electricity flows. In this case, I calculated the uh, amperage, or sorry, the resistance of the circuit using V is equal to IR, where V equals the voltage. I is the current flow in amps, and R is the resistance. So I was looking for the value of the variable R. So I, I transpose the I <coughs> to solve for R. The voltage is 6, the amperage is 3, so 6 over 3 gives you 2, amp, uh, two ohms for the resistance in that circuit. In the next circuit, it says draw a circuit that contains a three cell battery, three lamps in parallel, excuse me, and switches for each lamp. So when the lamps are in parallel, it means that the wires are, um, are branching from the main conductor and the current can take a different path for each one. So each lamp has its own switch, meaning they can be operated independently. Close all three switches, all the three lamps will turn on. Close one switch, only one, only the lamp, only the switch in front of that, only the lamp after that switch will turn on. So again, the, uh, the electrons flow out of the negative side, they go through the uh, switch when it's closed, and it lights the lamps in parallel. If we assume that this has three volts per cell, that's a nine volt battery, and if we assume that the resistance in this circuit is 1.8 amps, we can calculate a current flow of uh, uh, using V equals IR, you rearrange equation to solve for I. V over R equals I, 9 volts divided by 1.8 amps will give us a flow of 5 amps. Switching to the second board, we have a yet another circuit that contains a 5 cell battery, 5 lamps in series, a switch to control the circuit, and a variable resistor. So in a variable resistor, this is the one other thing that I've added, that uh, that changes the uh, resistance in the circuit. And the, resi the result is that we get a variable resistor. So if you have the full resistor, it will increase the resistance up to, if you find out later, up to about 10 ohms. And if we have a less of the uh, resistor to pass through, then the resistance decreases. This is a five cell battery. If each cell is three volts, then the total voltage of the battery is 15 volts. Again, the electrons come out of the negative side. If the switch is closed, the electricity will flow through. It'll go through the resistor, and it'll pass through all the lamps. Now, I asked, in this hypothetical circuit, I asked when the resistance is high, say 10 ohms, so if you had it switched up to here, so the electricity has to pass through the whole resistor, and if suppose it gave us a 10 ohm resistance, if the battery has a voltage of 15 volts, calculate the current flow. Using V is equal to IR, we solve for V over R. That gives us I. 15 divided by 10 gives us 1.5 amps. So we'll assume that if we have 1.5 amps flowing through the circuit, that's a, a, a less amount of current, so the lamps will burn dimly. If then we were to take that variable resistor and move it this way, so that we have only 5 amps of resistance, now the current flow will be higher. 15 divided by 5 will give us 3 amps of current. It doubles the amount of current flowing through, and the lamps will burn brightly. I just uh, a point I'd like to make. Not only can you put cells in parallel, but you can put entire batteries in parallel in series. So if you have a bunch of car batteries, if you had five car batteries and you connected the negative terminal of one battery to the positive terminal of the next battery, and so on down the line, 
you would add the voltages. So you would get 60 volts if you connected five batteries in series. If you were, connect, if you were to connect the same five batteries in parallel, the voltage would be the same, but then what would happen is the batteries would be able to provide a lot more current. So you'd still get 12 volts, but you'd have a lot more current available. That's it.